Hey, I'm Evan, head of engineering for RM Stator. Today we're here to introduce the brand new Revolt voltage regulator rectifier for power sports applications. This is our brand new patent pending technology designed in-house and it is made right here in Colorado. So it's made in America, really excellent product and we've got a lot of features to go over so we can explain to you just why you need this. Um, we set out to build the best power sports regulator rectifier on the market. Uh, we've been in this business a long time and there's a lot of good parts out there, but nobody has really gone back to the drawing board and improved the voltage regulator rectifier in a very long time and we wanted to do that. Um, you're all probably familiar with MOSFET and series type regulators. These are great improvements over the original technology. Keep in mind the original solid state voltage regulator rectifier combination unit came about in the early 80s or so, and it really did not change significantly since then. Um, the MOSFET was a great improvement by using transistors in the design, and the series type regulator is a great improvement as well by using a different type of regulation that can uh, improve stator life and it can run cooler uh, for longer life in the regulator. All of these are good things, uh, but all of them were not good enough for RM stator. So we wanted to go back to the drawing board and figure out what really fails in these things and what we need to do to improve it. Um, throughout our long history of building and selling these parts, the main failure, about 90% of failures in these is the diodes that are used in the rectifier. These are the electronic components that are responsible for converting alternating current your stator is producing into direct current to charge your battery. They do a good job, but they generate a ton of heat in use, and it is very hard to get that heat away from the electronics and prevent failures of those diodes. Lots of fixes have been used over the years using higher current rated diodes and thicker uh, aluminum back circuit boards to try and cool them. Um, we've seen lots of success in using CNC uh, billet aluminum CAD designed housings that can pull heat away from the electronics better. So lots of things have been done to improve these parts, but nothing has really been done to look at the core technology and actually improve the electronics. Now, like I said, this is patent pending and I'm not going into tons of detail about exactly how this works, but what I can tell you is that we looked at the core root cause of the problem and we eliminated the diodes from the rectifier. And doing this really solves the problem with these type of parts. The regulation function works well and we didn't see a need to focus on improvement there. Typically these regulate very well, but we needed to improve the rectifier and that is what we did. So like I said, that eliminated 90% of failures in most of these units uh, in previous types of voltage regulator designs. So let's talk about the Revolt. Um, it generates up to 50% less heat than a lot of OEM uh, comparison regulators. So those are the Shindinjin SH847 series, the Shindinjin MOSFET regulators, even the large, very large case uh, regulator housings that are meant to dissipate a lot of heat. Um, we can compare it to anything out there and we have got up to a 50% decrease in heat uh, measured right at the heat sink housing. And later in this video, we're gonna show you a lot of live test results uh, on our Can-Am uh, Maverick. And we can do a comparison test using our split system that is a dual output stator. So it lets us uh, have a live accurate comparison of Revolt versus uh, any other competitor part and even some of our own parts. And you'll see that later. Um, so like I said, massive improvement in heat dissipation uh, versus all OEMs and our competitors parts. And we definitely put our money where our mouth is with a lifetime warranty on these to prove it. Um, we have a CAD designed um, CNC machined billet aluminum housing. This is our own in-house housing design. So we figured we already had a really nice CNC housing that we like and we've used on many of our regulator technologies in the past. It looks great, it works great. However, we thought if we're building a new part, we're gonna redesign the housing as well. So we have a brand new aluminum housing. We have changed the cooling fin design. This regulator is not totally reliant on tons of air cooling like previous designs, but we also thought might as well improve it while we're at it. So we have lots of thinner cooling fins with lots more surface area. Just the housing alone is good for uh, a very impressive um, decrease uh, in temperature, pulling heat away from the electronics. So I think this is really nice. It looks great. It's a premium product and it will look great on any vehicle. This is a regulator you actually want to show off. You put it on your motorcycle or ATV. It's not something that needs to be hidden and it's something you really want people to see that you have. Um, it fits many OEM fitments out there because of our housing design. It's a common size and it also has slotted mounting holes as you can see. 
So that will let it mount up into the OEM mounting location on tons of vehicles, ATVs, side-by-sides, motorcycles, uh, you name it. But it can also be used really universally because of those slotted mounting holes and its compact size. So it can be mounted in lots of locations. Um, however, we wanted to make it really simple to get this on lots of vehicles as easy as possible. So we have, at no extra cost, adapter harnesses to include with Revolt for tons of fitments. Uh, you can check our website for all of them. So we've got adapter harnesses that will uh, give you a plug and play fitment to ATVs, motorcycles, side-by-sides. Um, these are just some of the options. We have here a Suzuki one, I believe. This is, I believe, some Honda ATVs. We have another, not sure off the top of my head, but Japanese uh, plug and play fitment or maybe Triumph. So these adapter harnesses make it really nice and easy to be able to mount this in an original location and plug it in. Um, we also used fairly standardized connectors now. I'm sure you've seen regulators, you've seen these. These are pretty standardized connectors used by most OEM manufacturers. And what's really nice is they're keyed, they're color coded, and they will mean the same thing on any vehicle. So your gray connector is always your stator input, three wires, three yellow wires typically and the black connector is your battery uh, output. And the inner terminal is battery positive, the outer terminal is battery negative. It's a very simple five wire hookup, and this can be used on any three phase permanent magnet charging system. So that is a ton of vehicles out there. Pretty much every modern ATV, motorcycle, side by side, you name it, even as some outboard motors, snowmobiles, so tons of fitments out there. Um, like I said, you can use it to upgrade anything. It has a lifetime warranty. So we're putting our money where our mouth is. These are excellent products and we really want to get them out there and get people paying attention. So make sure you check out later in this video where we show live temperature testing. It really is as good as we say it is. I use it on my own bikes. We put tons of miles on these. We have customers that have ridden them uh, to the southern tip of Mexico. We have people running these in brutal heat conditions and they hold up. Um, come in our Revolt uh, custom packaging, this is a really premium product. We want it to look and feel that way. We've got our card with some temperature charts and information about the product. We have our lifetime warranty registration card. And you get some stickers, of course, RM Stator keychain. And we've got a nice cutout with our regulator. And with every one, we also include a matching connector and terminal kit. So that will let you, if you did want to adapt this to another vehicle and we don't have the adapter harness available, keep in mind you can get those uh, at no extra cost within the, any of these uh, regulators, but we include the connector and terminal kit. So this will let you cut off your original factory connectors on your vehicle and crimp on ours to make this plug right in on your vehicle. Really simple. So I hope you like uh, taking a look at this and make sure you check out some of our test results. And I think you'll be really pleased with the brand new Revolt Regulator Rectifier from RM Stater.